Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining. So uh, in our previous video, we uh, seen the uh, techniques of data cleaning as a process in data mining, data integration as a process in data mining. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what is data transformation or what are the different methods for transforming the data into a data mining set. So let's see what are the different data transformation techniques in data mining. So let's get started. So first of all, what is data transformation? So data transformation is the transformation of data or the consolidation of data into appropriate forms like in different forms you need uh, in different different ways or in different different streams so like that you transform the data accordingly so the very first technique in data transformation is that you have the smoothing technique so smoothing technique uh, i have a uh, solve problem based on smoothing technique so i will put it in the i cards below up you can see there so smoothing techniques are basically of data cleaning as a process so i have discussed in that so it works to remove noise from the data it's used for handling the noisy data or trying to reduce the noise as much as possible and the techniques include rcb binning regression and clustering next we move on to aggregation aggregation is a summary or aggregation operations are applied to the data in order to consolidate into appropriate form it is used typically for constructing the data and for data cubes that is olap cubes especially it is used for that and it's used for uh, data analysis at different multiple levels of data granularities next you have the generalization technique so generalization is like you have a low level or a primitive concept you have the raw data with you so that raw data or the low level data is replaced by a higher level concept through use of concept hierarchy so these things that is the concept hierarchies are used in order to replace those low level data or raw data into higher level data so example you have a data like say for example street is there that is a raw data or a primitive data so that street is replaced by some higher concepts like higher level concept you have city or a country to that extent so city country or continent so it's replaced in that way next you have the normalization technique which is the uh, most important data transformation uh, that i can say uh, in data mining so in normalization what you do uh, in normalization the attribute data are scaled scaled up or scaled low so as to fill within a or to fit within a particular small specified range such as minus 1.0 from the number line you have minus uh, 1.0 to plus 1.0 or 0 0.0 to plus 1.0 and so uh, you have normalization it's like you are just uh, uh, segregating or just you have uh, compromising that data to a particular uh, container or to that some particular extent so then you have three types of normalizations laid in the this so the very first is you have min max normalization that is minimum maximum value normalization and so it's a kind of linear transformation to the original data so uh, it's linearly transforms the data uh, from the uh, raw data which it has and it preserves the relationship among the original data values which it has so it's like uh, there are no kind of uh, relationship unmatching or any kind of uh, triggering or uh, like kind of mismatches occurred in that so it's like original attribute relation is preserved in this so that is a very big big advantage to min max normalization next it encounters any kind of out of bounds error if a future input case for normalization falls outside the original data range like uh, you have consolidated your data to minus 1.0 or plus 1.0 or to this level that is 0 0.0 to 1.0 like in future if any kind of errors which falls outside this category then it throws a kind of out of bounds error like in java also you have array index out of bounds exception like the similar case in this you have in data mining if any value falls outside that particular category or the range it throws that is the out of bounds error so in order to determine this we have a mathematical measure or mathematical formula so v dash represents the normalized value for the attribute a a is the attribute here and so we have the v that is the original data or the original value the raw data or the primitive value minus the minimum value of a which is there divided by maximum value of a minus minimum value of a the uh, minus product is obtained there and uh, then you have this uh, particular uh, bracket that is new maximum of a new maximum value of a minus new minimum value of a plus you add the new minimum value of a so this equation while solving the problem you have to input it as it is else you will get the answer as wrong next you have the z score normalization or zero mean normalization that is z stands for zero in this so in this what you have basically two values that is mean you have standard deviation so with those two values you calculate the normalized value and so the formula goes in this as uh, v dash is equal to v minus a bar that is uh, the mean divided by standard deviation of a 
एंड सो वी कम टू दी फाइनल टेक्निक ऑफ नॉर्मलाइजेशन दैट इज नॉर्मलाइजेशन बाई डेसिमल स्केलिंग लाइक यू डिवाइड और यू मल्टीप्लाई विद हेल्प ऑफ अ डेसिमल वैल्यू टू सम पर्टिकुलर रेंज एंड सो इट नॉर्मलाइज बाई मूविंग दी डेसिमल पॉइंट ऑफ वैल्यूज टू एन एट्रीब्यूट and the number of decimal points that is to be moved depends upon the maximum absolute value of a so it's uh, given by this equation max of mod of v dash which is less than 1 so that particular range decides the number of decimal points that you need to move or to arrange in order to uh, obtain that normalized value and so it's given in this way that is v dash is equal to v divided by 10 raised to j j here represents the smallest integer uh, in this and it has the a value of maximum of mod of v dash that is it's a positive value which is less than 1 next you have the final uh, data transformation technique that you have attribute construction in this so in this you have new attributes that are constructed from the original or the from the given attributes to help in understanding the accuracy or uh, to summarize the structure in fact uh, in a more representational way like for example you have uh, the area Uh, and the width so with that you calculate the height of a rectangle or some other geometrical measures in that way so it's like an example given you can uh, correlate with any other kind of data you may have so uh, that gives a more uh, focused way of uh, like looking into different data transformation techniques so well that's all about the different data transformation technique we have discussed so far in data mining so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video